hi this is candace and i'm coming to you today with a mukbang so i have spaghetti and meatballs and um some homemade garlic bread i just put a vegan butter a spoonful of vegan butter a right italian seasoning and butter in the microwave and then i spread it on the bread and put this in the oven i have my vegan parmesan cheese here and i have some tabasco so inside here i have my broccoli my mixed vegetables and stuff I have my lemonade and iced tea. And my husband is, he made the iced tea with some cinnamon. Cinnamon is good to improve gut health. So, for all of you who don't know, first of all, let's stop. I want to thank each and every each and every one of you for watching my video. I truly appreciate you. Thank you. So, if you don't know, I have multiple sclerosis, and you know, from every person that I've been talking to it starts in my gut with my gut health I have leaky gut so I am trying to seal back my gut and alleviate some of my symptoms so kimchi was one of the things that you should eat and then I was like how do you eat kimchi because I usually eat non tofu but you can also eat it on spaghetti. This is just cabbage. This is just fermented cabbage. But you see on top, it says probiotic. Yeah, so this will help with my gut health as well. So when I was looking at ways to eat it, they said to heat it up and all that. But I wasn't gonna go and start all over. Like I just, I wasn't in the mood, so I'm just gonna eat the cold. I don't have a problem with eating cold. I love kimchi. I love spaghetti. Love, love, love. I want to get nice and comfy. Why is the chair stuck? The chair is my chair is stuck on to something there we go it was stuck on to something so how's everyone doing today how's the weather right here this is really good you all should try it you should try icy with a little bit of cinnamon. It'll help your gut health. So, um, all along, I went on this vegan journey 
because I was trying, I thought it was tied to my multiple sclerosis. And to come to find out, it's my gut is kind of crazy. This has been a journey trying to find out what's wrong with me and trying to fix it so I can be a better me. It has truly been a journey, but I'm happy and I'm here for it. Bon appetit. Let's eat. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, kimchi. All right, kimchi. I taste the kimchi. It tastes good. It tastes pretty good. This is one of the sausages I put in. I threw in. Hmm. The sausage is spicy. This is just enough spice. <laughs> the, the sausage is really spicy. <laughs> I love spaghetti the next day. It tastes so good. This is so good. This is so good. This is so good. So this is the cauliflower. So I have me mixed vegetables with it, but I threw it all in. to the point where I don't even need the hot sauce. Oh, this is so good. I'm not even exaggerating. This is so good. It's so crazy that I was watching Tia Hey Girl 
I was watching you eat the spaghetti and I was like, I have to have that. <laughs> it looks so good. So I made it. I was like, that's what's on, that's, what, that's what's for dinner tonight. I'm going to try some of these meatballs, but the sauce is so good. I mean, the spaghetti is so good. Okay. Oh, now that I ate, excuse me, I could talk to you. My husband is talking in the bathroom, excuse me. Okay, so I have been on a journey. When it came to manifesting, I wasn't manifesting. Along with manifesting, along with manifesting wealth, I was really focusing on health. And, you know, multiple sclerosis is an inflammatory disease that attacks the central nervous system so it affects your sight affects your mind it's affecting my it's affecting my sight it's affecting my lens the way i'm walking and even though i was diagnosed in 2006 this came out of nowhere with the fact that I'm with a king and the fact that I'm just like I'll show you I'll show y'all the way I'm walking and everything I, it just came so I, so I was like listen that has that was my manifestation I was like I need to get rid of this multiple sclerosis I need to I was just manifesting that and talking about that and then you know things started what do you say things started presenting itself and you know causes and fixing and healing and it started presenting, presenting itself to me and I'm just so thankful and I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. This is why. Back before the summer 29th, I had a kimchi best before the 29th. What's, oh, okay, that gave me some time. I'm going to put a little more. So this is why I don't have time or patience for anyone who is going to mistreat me who's not going to be kind, who's not going to be nice. I don't have the time or the patience for that, you know? I'm going through enough stuff. 
I'm going through a lot. You know, and being sick on top of it. My thing is, it says a lot about a person who mistreats a, 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 a who mistreats a person, an ill person, an elderly person, an older person. But it's like I'm dead sick, and there are people out there who's sick and still who's causing a whole bunch of hell and drama. And but I'm none of that. I'm none of that. You know. I'm kind and I'm loving and I'm giving and I really don't have time for and, and I'm mom. I'm dope. You know, I don't I'm not gonna share me with everybody. You understand what I'm saying? I am not gonna share me with everyone. Family included. Family is the main one. Because you know my issue. You know what the deal is. And for you to still mistreat me, and I'm not even playing the victim. When I'm saying mistreat me, that's just a fact. I'm not playing the victim, oh, why me? Because I'm changing my mindset. Because I had to say, what is it about me that would allow that? And I came up with, I got an answer. I give too much. I was giving too much of myself. I wasn't setting boundaries. I was just as fault for allowing me to be mistreated as the people who mistreated me. I was just as fault for the people who took money from me and didn't give it back and all of that. I was just as I was just as guilty as they were. But I'm 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 being accountable for my actions and not anymore. The buck stops here. Like, literally, the buck stops here. The buck stops here. So, along this manifestation journey, I found out so much stuff about myself. I'm finding, I can't say found, it's not like it's ever ending. I'm finding out so much stuff about myself and I'm dealing with myself and I'm talking to myself I think I'm becoming a better mom a better friend mm. the kimchi with the spaghetti and the spaghetti sauce bomb Bah. Yeah. So I didn't like the way I was being treated. So I changed it. You have the power to change your situation. Let me get one of these meatballs. My nose started itching. These taste so good. These are the Gardein meatless meatballs. So in addition to you having the reality, you having the authority to change your reality and anything in your situation that you don't like, you are in control of yourself and your actions. So make sure you're being kind. Stay positive. Be positive. Stay positive. It's. It can only help you because by being negative, nothing comes of it. But being positive, you guarantee an outcome. 
I'm learning that even if it's not an outcome in you, it's an outcome in people because like, my sister was like, thank you for being so positive. It's a brush of fresh, fresh air. And I thank you. Look up on my back room. Hmm. Anyway. I'm full. I'm full. I want to thank you for watching. Bye.